May I come in, sir? Good morning. Please sir. come in. Good morning. Sir. Please have a seat. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the board. And uh, Digvijay, first uh, we would like to hear something from you about yourself. Just four sentences, okay. not much. Sir, uh, I am Dr. Digvijay Singh and I am a physiotherapist by profession. I did my schooling. Uh, my father, I primarily come from an army background. My father is a retired army officer. And I have been fortunate enough to complete my schooling from Drangadra town in Gujarat and Kanpur in UP. And then, sir, I completed my graduation from Delhi University in the year 2019 only. And after that, I worked for one year in St. Stephen's Hospital. And since then, sir, I have been diligently preparing for this exam. And okay. I hope to join the services one day, sir. Okay. Now, I see that you are, you have been playing volleyball and you are very keen in volleyball. Yes. Isn't that? Can you tell me who was uh, who is the reigning which country is the reigning champion Olympic champion in volleyball? Sir, currently the team of USA is, uh, has been performing quite well. Oh, and which country did it uh, beat? Sir, sir, that I am not aware of. And and you have done relay race as well, four into one hundred meters. Yes. Who is the current champion in which country is current champion in men's relay Olympic? Sir, Yes. So currently the team of Jamaica, of which Usain Bolt is also a part of, that is currently the number one team in the world. Okay. I'm quite in, quite intrigued. I mean, volleyball, race, then guitar. Yes, sir. What type of guitar do you play? Sir, I play an acoustic guitar only. Acoustic guitar. Yes. Tell me, there was a famous guitarist who was a disciple of Ravi Shankar. Indian oh. guitarist. Oh, no, oh. sorry. Foreigner. I give you a clue. clue. Yes. He was a member of Beatles. Oh. So, 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 sorry, sir. I'm unable to recall the name. Okay. I, I have heard. That was George Harrison. George Harrison, yes. Sir. He was one of the only two foreign disciples of Ravi Shankar. Okay. Sita. Sita. He learned Sita. Okay. Thank you, sir. And who are the who are the currently who are the famous guitarists in the world? Sir, currently, uh, sir, on the global scale, I'm frankly I'm not aware of, but there are a few Indian guitarists that I'm quite fond Which of. One? So, for example, uh, Ehsan Ehsan Nurani. He is okay. a part of Shankar Ehsan Loy, the trio of music okay. directors. Okay. Sir, he is quite good. Okay. And. Guitar also is played in various ways, hip hop, pop, rock. Right, sir. So, can you enumerate any difference between these three? So, basically, sir, uh, due to changing times and due to developments in music, guitar has also seen few changes. So, for example, now we are seeing electric guitar, which is also coming up in a big way. And, sir, uh, bass guitars are also there. So, basic, basically, the difference is uh, in electric guitars and, and bass guitars, uh, external instruments, for example, speakers and amplifiers are used to basically amplify the sound and the bass quality of the guitar. Okay. While in uh, conventional acoustic guitar, it is basically I the. I was I was interested in knowing what is the difference between say hip hop and rock music. So the uh, exact difference, I am okay. afraid okay. I don't have enough knowledge. Okay, no problem. Your father comes from Kasgan. Yes. Sir. What is historically important in Kasganj? Sir, Kasganj, uh, sir, in the district Kasganj, sir, uh, there is uh, there is a place called Patiali uh, where Amir Khusro was born. Uh -huh. The great poet Amir Khusro, he was born there. And sir, uh, sir, this is the and only. And there is Jahera where Mahabharat period excavations have been found. Okay, sir, sir, that I was not okay, aware of. Okay. Thank you. Dikvijay. Yes, sir. You have studied a subject called English core. What is the English core? Is it different from a regular English or honors English? What is this English core? Yes. Sir, uh, in the education system which is prevailing in the Kendri Vidyalayas, sir, uh, English core is the 
subject which is different from uh, the english which is taught in other boards for example icsc so the basic difference is in english core uh, the basic literature part is more focused upon rather than the grammatical part so so basically that is the main difference okay you have been a debater at various levels right right when we choose a subject we start debating on this right at the same time when we choose a subject we start discussing also on that group discussion right so what is the difference between a debate and a discussion right so so the basic difference is in in a group discussion we actually discuss on different aspects of a topic and in the end we uh, reach to a conclusion and which and but on the other hand in a debate we actually uh, look from different extremes like the two different extremes for example any topic whether it is good or bad so the basic difference is in a discussion at the end a conclusion is reached which might not be uh either of the two extremes which might be a balanced mid path but in the debate either you have you are saying that the, either you are completely in favor of one topic or in completely or completely against the topic okay see you have been playing uh, interested in music guitar and all that yeah. when you uh, ask a new child 5 years 6 years 10 years he starts the he wants interest in guitar right whereas our indian instruments are no less harmonium sitar and all this what is the reason why these is our instruments are not picking up western instruments are picking up sir so i believe the major reason is because of the changing times and because of globalization the entry of the western music in india is is coming up in a, in a big way and Uh, children from the very young age they are getting exposed to western music and also sir secondly the i believe the complex nature of indian music that is also one factor because uh, even to reach a mediocre level of uh, mediocre level in indian music you need a long long duration of training so i think in that aspect the indian children in the current scenario they are less interested in learning indian music so i think sir these are the two major causes which are causing which are basically causing the indian music to not flourish as rapidly as the western music in india see you apply the same analogy the same is not true for indian food indian food is also a part of globalization right sir. it is very popular outside right sir. in outside countries more than the western food right sir. why you, this uh, problem in music why not with food This is same thing to happen. We have to have some food also. Right, sir. Sir, I believe uh, when it comes to Indian food, the quality of that exoticness and the newness which is associated with Indian food, food that kind of attracts the Western audience. But sir, uh, Indian classical music is an altogether different story. So I believe, sir, uh, for learning music. that requires a lot of time while indian food that is uh sir an element of newness is there so sir that is more attractive to the western people okay what is the difference between a direct tax and indirect tax sir indirect tax is the tax which is levied on the goods uh while the direct tax it is a uh, it is levied on the services for example production tax uh, which uh, for example income tax these are the direct taxes and while on the other hand for example the tax which is levied on a good for example a bottle of a uh, bottle of water that is a direct tax indirect tax sorry which one we should promote direct or indirect look into our democratic system social setup welfare state Which one we should promote? Direct tax we should promote more, or indirect tax we should promote? Taxes tax are at the end of the day we'll get the money. From which source we should get the money more from direct or indirect? Sir, I believe uh, as as you rightly mentioned, India is a welfare state. So, I, uh, and the impact of indirect tax on the poor people is uh, more aggressive. So, I believe uh, 
promoting direct tax would be the progressive step. Okay. Uh, you are physically very fit, terminal. you are a physical instructor and all that. See, there is a saying power corrupts. And absolute power corrupts absolutely. Uh, justify this statement in the terms of police. Police has a lot of powers. So, how, how this statement uh, justifies with the police? So in the present scenario, we are seeing that the police forces, we have seen many instances where the police officials, they are using their powers with uh, for getting undue advantage. So in that sense, we are seeing the trust deficit which is seen uh, between the police officials and the people of country. And while on the other hand, what can be done, the power that police forces they hold, that power can be used for constructive purposes for example uh, sir if uh, if we can take an example uh, sir uh, let's say in my district kanpur uh, there is, there was a case when uh, this uh, scheme of implementing the cleanliness clean kanpur and green kanpur scheme has to be implemented so for for that uh, kanpur police was taken the help of they conducted a seminar or a camp for for encouraging the local residents to promote the cleanliness ha habits and waste segregation at home. So, sir, I believe with that power, because officials, they, because the uh, common people, they trust police forces. So, that power can be used in a constructive way, but not for, uh, but what we are seeing that most of the times it is used for getting undue advantage. Thank you, sir. You mentioned that police could be used for implementing the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan right. part of thing. Do you think this is the mandate of the police? What is the mandate of police? So, what uh, is police meant for in our society? What is police meant for? Right, sir. sir, police is basically for the security of people and uh, sir, for uh, controlling the law and order situation of any area. How does Swachh Bharat Abhiyan come into the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan cleanliness at the job of the municipal corporation or the municipal council or the civic body? So, uh, don't you think it is uh, stretching the police? As it is, police is over the stress. Right, they have to work for 12 hours. They don't have many facilities. Oh, and VIP attachments. VIP attachments. Half of the bus and the VI especially you are from the UP. So, you have the Marg Mela, you have the... <coughs> Kumbh Mela, Maha Kumbh, etc. etc. So, uh, putting a, uh, a police on the other job, do you think would it be advisable? Yes, sir. sir uh, you rightly mentioned that police already has a lot of burden of work. But, sir, uh, in, in my locality, what we are seeing that many vacant plots, they are, used, they are being used as open public dustbins. So, sir, uh, there is this uh, element of because the Isn't it some, or somebody else job there is a municipal corporation, municipal council, civic body. Yes, Shouldn't they do, do their job? Right, sir. Sir, uh, yes, sir. Uh, it can be done, sir. But I feel that if if we can take some steps, for example, just once a month uh, conducting a seminar, that not necessarily the police officials, but also the uh, administrative officials, like. Let me put it this way. If you are the uh, superintendent of police of the Kanpur city, right. what would be your priority areas you would try to focus as an SP of the district? You have police force, you have uh, the police problems, whatever problems you feel, feel it would be important for the Kanpur city. So, being a senior police official, I would uh, majorly focus on the law and order situation in the country. Mm -hmm. And sir, not country. You are we are concerned about only the city. SP is only concerned about the city. It has, and you can be aware of what is happening in the country, but your area of operation only can't go. Right. Can't go beyond that. Yes, sir. Law and order situation in the city only. And sir, uh, secondly, the traffic, traffic violations. That is also a grave concern. So secondly, so the moment you stop somebody, the person is not happy. Right. He starts arguing. What do you do? He gets a, you a phone call from the MLA, from the ministers, from the senior bureaucrats. How do you handle that? 
right sir sir uh, sir i believe there are certain rules and regulations that need to be followed uh, while you are commuting via traffic sir those rules cannot be compromised and sir uh, and i believe if those rules would be followed and the police officers are in, are actually helping in the better implementation of those rules and if someone is following those rules police enforces it see it has to say yes right like for somebody is violating traffic rule jumping red light police is uh, duty bound to catch him right. the moment you catch him then there is an altercation right so you get a phone call kyo pakad liya isko kyo chhod do isko ye to main mla ka ladka hu mla hi hu right i am a senior broker so how do you handle that so i believe it is the duty of the official to actually implement the rules and uh, not being affected by these external pressures that would be the uh, that would be the good step they get annoyed by right. the connection of the chief minister sir uh, sir that is actually the problem but sir i believe uh, realizing the fact that we are uh, i mean the executive the permanent executive and the temporary executive we are on the same team so that that way a collaborative approach would be the right step in like which what do you mean by collaborative it sounds good how do you collaborate sir i believe sir uh, we have to realize that the who will have to realize that my dear sir see you or they you have to enforce it right sir they say that let him go what wrong is the way if he has jumped red light so what will you just put your phone down no i won't let let him go because it is, he has violated law and order that's what he is uh, trying to ask or would you succumb to the pressure from the top so personally uh, i will try to uh, convince the person on the other end that uh, that it is my duty to implement certain rules and it would be it would not be a good uh, part not be a good action on my part to basically let go of such an action if he doesn't get convinced ऐसे जाने दो चलो क्या फर्क पड़ता है तुम्हें तुम क्या कब एसपी गिरी कर रहे हो ज्यादा नए एसपी तुम्हें थोड़ी ना है वेल गेट इट ट्रांसफर सर आई बिलीव हियर द पर्सनल एथिक्स एंड मोरल वैल्यूज कम इन प्ले सर इफ यू लेट गो दिस सच एन एक्शन फॉर वंस इवन फॉर वंस दैट वुड बी आई थिंक यू बीइंग अनफेयर टू द पर्पस फॉर व्हिच यू आर इन द सर्विस सर सो व्हाट व्हाट्स व्हाट वुड बी सर पर्सनली सर आई वुड नॉट लेट गो ऑफ दैट ओके like in the uh, what is the one besides one important issue of this you said law and order do you feel there is some other issue of the uh, the kanpur city is facing generally in terms of general health general like you mentioned social hara pollution is a big issue in kanpur especially the ganga is getting polluted very very heavily by the industries affluent getting into the ganga sir as you rightly mentioned sir i believe pollution aspect is a major problem i i if i have to prioritize i believe the pollution aspect is a major problem that kanpur is let me put switch you over to the role of a district magistrate right sir. sp can't do much i guess but this is a district magistrate you should be you would be able to could you uh, enumerate certain steps you would try to um, initiate as a district magistrate to control pollution in the city sir i believe uh, firstly uh, what i am seeing sir as in the past uh, the, the neighboring city of kanpur kanauj it was developing in a big way but with the development of kanpur kanauj was sidelined now the same is happening with uh, lucknow in with with kanpur due to the development of lucknow so i believe sir lucknow and kanpur should be developed as twin cities so that so that way uh, this this uh, political representation and the, the you know see i you know developing a city may not be the i mean you have a certain budget and you can't do influence the you can't influence the development of lucknow you can come plead if you get an occasion of the chief minister or the urban development minister but i'm only i'm wanted to focus you on the kanpur mm, right. in this problem of the pollution do you have certain i am um, idea in your mind to uh, i mean to alleviate the at least the problems of the citizens sir i believe uh, so firstly what my step would be mm-hmm. sir uh, i think i would be i would try to collaborate with uh, for example uh, other uh, research institutions for example iim indore to basically uh, 
replicate the indoor model of cleanliness in Kanpur. And also, I would uh, try to encourage people to basically follow these steps. For example, uh, waste segregation at home only. And also, sir, uh, promoting. Problem is that just give me half a second. Ah, sure, sure, no, problem is that the industrial uh, waste getting into Ganga, that is one big issue. Any idea of at least containing it or trying to have any solved or at least making some effort? Sir, uh, I believe, uh, sir, retrofitting of electrostatic precipita precipitators and other pollution control devices in the leather tanneries, which are, which are uh, present in a large number in the city of Kanpur. And also, sir, uh, I personally, what I would do, setting up of mobile facilities or mobile vans, which would be, uh, which would be uh, reading the air, the air pollution indexes and uh, taking, uh, and also, uh, sir, uh, making sure that the leather tanneries etc. and the smaller industrial units, they are following all the regulations which are being set to basically uh, prevent the air pollution which is caused by them. Okay, one last question. You sing Hindi Bollywood songs. Right. Which is your favorite song? So, uh, sir, uh, recently, uh, sir, uh, there was a movie called Lasin Chadda. Sir, from that, there is a song called Pirna Esi Raat Aegi. Pherna Aisi Raat Aegi. Sir, that is, that song I really like. Who is the lyricist? Sir, the lyricist is Mr. Kasun Joshi. And the music director? Sir, 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 I'm not sure, but uh, if I'm allowed to guess, I guess that is Preetam. Okay. Could you just sing one line? The Raat Pherna Aegi? Sure, sir. फिर ना ऐसी रात आएगी यूं हमें जो साथ लाएगी तुम सामने सच में हो या कोई खाब है गुड देख बुझे Actually, I'm unable to understand one thing from your dad. Uh, you're living in Mumbai. Thani. Yes, sir. But you are uh, nowhere connected and I guess you're not doing any job as well. As you mentioned, you're not employed. No, sir. Then, sir, Thani was actually my place of residence during the mains examination. Okay. So, so that's why the... So just for preparation and isolation. Sir, only for one month during the mains. Okay. So, so because okay. in Kanpur, the nearest center was in Lucknow. Okay. So I felt that for commuting, that would be difficult. And in Thane, my brother resides there. Okay. So, okay. That was, I was unable to connect. So uh, you watched web series? Yes, sir. Watched Game of Thrones? Yes, sir. I, I watched Game of Thrones. And also the uh, the prequel, House of the Dragons. House of the Dragons. So who, uh, it is based on a novel. Uh, it's based on a fantasy series of novels by who wrote that? Sir, it is based on a novel by George R. R. Martin called A Song of Ice and Fire. So in Song of Ice and Fire, there are two uh, imaginary continents on which this whole theme is based. Right, sir. Name them, if you can. Sir, uh, it is basically a story of uh, a continent called Westeros. And there are... Yeah, yeah, please. And sir, there are uh, different uh, uh, empires or houses as we can say. Who are uh, who are actually fighting among themselves to basically being the leader or being the supreme leader among themselves, and at the same time they are also facing a common enemy in the form of the Night Walker. Yeah, but no, but uh, that's uh, in in the in the series of novel, the original part, there are two continents. Sir, in the novel, I am not aware of. Sir, I'll definitely look up sure. look upon it. The one Westeros is right, another one is the Essos. Essos, right, sir. Any other, any other book written by George R. R. Martin? So basically this, uh, this novel is only I'm aware of. Okay, no issues. <coughs> uh, uh, when you came, you said uh, Dr. Digvijay Singh. And I see you have done graduation. So uh, is the people who have done physiotherapy, are they entitled to use the, this as their uh, uh, writing? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, basically in, in the year 2019, this judgment of Supreme Court came 
and also sir in the year 2021 uh, this act was passed which was called national commission for allied health professionals act so after that it has been uh, established that physiotherapists are also entitled to use this uh, prefix doctor but after their name they have to uh, suffix they have to suffix pt in bracket so for example uh, dr digvijay singh in bracket i have to write pt correct uh, you are from kanpur <coughs> Tell me something about revolt of 1857 with reference to Kanpur. Right, sir. Sir, uh, in the revolt of 1857, from Kanpur, it was led. It was led by Nana Sahib. Nana Sahib was uh, the adopted son of the last Peshwa, Peshwa Bajirao II. And sir, uh, due to the uh, doctrine, due to the policy of doctrine of lapse, uh, he was uh, he was denied to basically uh, uh, inherit the uh, property of Uh, Peshwa Bajirao II in Bithur area, which is neighboring to Kanpur, and that's why he led the revolt of 1857 from Kanpur. So, how that Peshwa, who was stationed at Pune for a very long period of time, Pune had been the seat of Peshwa. How they came Bithur? Sir, uh, right, sir, sir, uh, sir, uh, Peshwa Bajirao II, after the third Anglo-Maratha war, uh, he actually left uh, Pune because they they were defeated in the war. and after that they he came and settled in bithur so what was the treaty that ended the third anglo maratha war sir i am unable to recall the name um and and you talked about doctrine of lapse what was this doctrine of lapse so doctrine of lapse was started by lord dalhousie and it actually basically uh, the 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 rule was that the adopted the adopted son of the ruler would not be allowed to inherit the property of the ruler and uh, so was this applicable to all states whole of the country so so that i'll have to look upon sir fine uh tell me something about uh, sati chaura ghat massacre sir uh, sati chaura ghat massacre it was it happened in the uh, early 1850s sir uh, basically when the forces of british they were fleeing uh, they were fleeing kanpur sir so the the forces of nana sahib they actually attacked them and killed many soldiers and even their families also sir so, sir so that is the sati chaura ghat massacre in the early 1850s was this not the part of revolt of 1857 no sir this was this is not considered the part of revolt sir so, sir so in retaliation to this massacre then uh, the british forces when they retaliated that is known as kanpur massacre yeah so uh, you uh, have you said you have a different background uh, then why ias is your first choice why not police sir uh, sir uh, sir no undoubtedly sir uh, i have a love for uniform because my father was in army but sir i believe uh, indian administrative service is one field in which i would be able to contribute as per my capabilities and also sir i believe that this uh, field it provides diverse opportunities to work which are more conducive to my capabilities sir so you are from allied medical services right uh, we saw that uh, our health you know infrastructure got exposed during the covid-19 pandemic so what would be your priority let's say you are uh, in a district and in such a situation that no such even if there is a pandemic in future what are the health uh, priorities that you will provide let's see your right sir so uh, the major uh, the major area that i would like to work upon is the shortage of well qualified doctors so uh, personally i am aware of about about my field so for example uh, in india we have because because of a lack of any council any national council for example uh, on the lines of nmc or icmr this field is loosely organized so i believe so uh, majorly i would work to basically formalize this field and to uh, stop the the practice of quakes the the unorganized people and the uh, in the olden times the diploma holders so uh, so this would be my first major area that uh, the lack of shortage of well qualified doctors that so that would i would so the government is already on the you know mission of having one medical college in every district 
of the country then i don't think so that in coming years that would be a problem yes sir sir rightly mentioned sir uh, government has decided to set up one at least one medical college in each district but sir uh, the action on ground is, is still to be seen and also sir uh, i believe that this divide because the rural areas are not get are not able to avail the opportunities on the same level as the urban areas but government uh, has in this budget only uh, and in the presidential speech as well the honorable president said that we have served a lot uh, almost 1 lakh crore rupees of the poor has been saved because of ayushman bharat but they are working so where where is the lag i guess the government is saying everything is going fine but what you are saying is there is some gap at the ground level so what is that gap so uh, sir ayushman bharat is undoubtedly doing a great job but sir still if you look at statistics only 40% of families are able to avail the benefits of the scheme and sir moreover uh, in the rural areas the 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 impact of such schemes is still to be seen sir for that i believe the rural students should be incorporated in the medical education because sir they would have this incentive of going back and to serving their areas so sir uh, but you know this is something what is in the back going back and serving their area we, we have seen uh, for case in, in, uh, for example in case of tribals we have seen that uh, the the process of tribal development has led to an inter tribal intra tribal conflict right, right. right. that those who have got uplifted because of the government schemes so let's say education they are not returning back they are seeing the cities they are living a, they want to have a good life why they will return right so sir that is actually uh, one aspect of the problem uh, but sir i believe uh, with the help of incorporating the ethical education in the medical background so, so i think this problem can be fine. to a certain extent fine fine thank you so much thank you sir. okay just one last question so and that is what what is the basic bone of contention between pakistan and imf because of which the talks have failed and imf delegation has gone back just two three conditions you can mention which uh, pakistan right, was hesitating in pulling you know pulling right, sir. sir i believe the uh, the major bone of contention is the uh, sir the the expenditure that is being done from the part of government so because imf is asking them to basically implement some reforms but sir uh, the government uh the basically they have very less of uh, foreign forex reserves so basically sir they are not ready to implement those reforms okay okay so well digvijay can you please kindly wait outside for a few minutes and then we'll call you to give our assessment sure. right thank you very much thank you sir thank you sir Please come in. Have it. Thank Now, Digvijay, we have been observing you, your performance, everything. First, to begin with, your body language. You'll have to just say that you, you have to have a cheerful countenance, cheerful presence. Right. Ah, huh? don't don't appear to be tense. You are you are now just one step ahead of getting job. Right. so don't be tense right. right and then when you go back don't show us your back okay okay right okay sir. this way and then go right sir. and th then one or two things which i wanted to know wanted to say that you need to articulate your your thoughts your, your views more in a in a right. systemic manner right so ah because your articulation is not good that that you will have to right. see and uh, current affairs and general knowledge you will have to brush up mm. you didn't ask many questions right. i asked only one and, right. and then presentation should be much better much forceful okay so ah uh, your ideas your answers should be if you have many reasons to give an answer you have to uh, you have to give them in proper sequence right sir. right well sir digvijay yes sir your answer to the this english core question and uh, debate with sir was absolutely okay okay sir
but I will start with this. Your introduction is an introductory central company. Like so. I just date of date of date of date somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Like so. There are four five basic steps of introduction. My name is this. I come from this place. This was I have studied, this is my interest. And that's all. Like so. Be short introduction. Clean. Okay, sir. It was not clean. Okay, sir. Number two, my observation is that you are asking something, you are replying something. Right, sir. There are no straight replies. Right, sir. For example, this question, uh, direct and indirect, same thing to, to the same place you are saying direct. Sometimes saying direct, sometimes saying direct. Right, sir. Why are you asked this question? It's for your choice of services, very high tax IRS, no? Right, sir. Number three, four. Yes, sir. So be prepared uh, for this answer question. What is the difference between direct tax, indirect tax, and which one we should promote? I gave you hint also, there will be a statement on that. Right, sir. So you, you said we should promote direct tax. Right, sir. Between which people want more than indirect tax? And what is the, they, I think I asked you the next question because this answer was not satisfactory. Well, there is a book that we should do with the income tax. Right, sir. There is a book hmm. that we should do with the income tax. Then what to do? From where the money will come, be prepared. Right, sir. But sir, I felt that indirect tax because it is uh, levied on the goods, so sir, it would be it would have a pinching effect on no, the poor. I don't know the what is levied or levied. Sir, uh, that's fine. But uh, you know, what the, the correct term is the impact of uh, indirect tax is regressive in nature. So we have the progressive tax and the regressive tax. Right, sir. Fine. And when uh, you are using this, uh, especially when you are coming to the economy part, uh, and when you are defining direct and indirect tax, you should use the word the point of incidence and point of impact. impact right. So. That's a very straight line definition. Mm -hmm. that. Study this properly, this direct indirect. Right, sir. Okay. And which one we should promote? Okay, sir. Discuss with some people around. Okay, sir. Third question I ask is uh, harmonium is not popular. Simple, very simple. Promotion. We are promoting it all. every day you see in the newspaper, news and everywhere. They are promoting foreign uh, singers and they are promoting it all. Right, sir. You never see any photo of any harmonium or sitar. And you said our music is very complex. Their music is very simple. Who told you that? Sir, our music is complex. I am trying to learn guitar as well as harmonium. I find that guitar is very complex. Right, sir. I've learned some part of harmonium very easily. So it gels with us. Right, sir. It gels with us. We are Indians. Uh, we, we, we do not promote our instruments. Who will do? Right, sir. The reason of not promoting our instruments is overexposure to the Western culture, overexposure to the Western culture, Western instruments, Western music. Right, sir. That's the reason. Only that's the only reason. There's no other. Okay, sir. And that is the main then uh, I asked you this power corrupt circular, power corrupt circular relation to police. I don't know where what you are saying, I don't know just to tell you. Have you heard this before? Power corrupt circular, power corrupt Yes, sir. Circle. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've heard this quote. So, your, your choice of police is very high to go to. So, be ready with this kind of question. Right, sir. That if you give absolute power to the police, power corrupts means the power tends to corrupt a person, tends to. Right, sir. But absolute power corrupts, if you give absolute power to the person, then he doesn't know anything else in the world. Right, sir. He will be absolute corrupt. Right. Just I'm giving a hint under the list. Uh, see this thing, I just said this thing. Okay, sir. And too many of sorry, sir, 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 sir. Too much, too much of opening. It seems you are not prepared, sir. When is that really? Sir, it would be after 21st April only, in phase 3. So, fortunately, you have a lot of time. Right, sir. Attend as many as the moment as possible. Talk to people, discuss with people. Okay, sir. Move around. It's confident building. Right, sir. Confident building. Your personality is so good. That straight away 100% marks. Sir. A person like this sitting in a deputy position is perfect. But with the knowledge, right, sir. The very tricky question will be asked. Uh, don't think the simple question will be asked. This power corrupts, direct tax, music, or these are tricky questions. Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. And there are some people from 2007 years back. Yes, sir. So there, will be, there may be a question on what happened to the agency in seven years. Because we 
सर इट वॉज अ फाइव ईयर कोर्स सर बट स्टिल सर एक्चुअली आफ्टर ट्वेल्थ आई प्रिपेयर फॉर टू ईयर्स फॉर एम बी बी एस एंट्रेंस एग्जाम सर कैन आई से दैट then we like mba you have to get yes not made it so you are here yes sir so something where we didn't succeed at that and one small thing that uh, when you were asked uh, why you why have you preferred ias right like, yeah for defense services or in defense because your why of your father was in defense do not say that i am not meant for it or it is not according to my one thing that you had said the one reason that you have the other reason that you have given was okay and that was sufficient that as administrator i have many areas and many mm-hmm. avenues where i can give my input okay sir hmm. okay sir so uh, because what's happening with you what i observed that whenever a question is asked there are multiple thoughts you are having your mind right. and you are collecting one of them mm-hmm. and then uh, in between while you are giving answer you are Again, a deviation is coming, and then you are moving towards that. That's what goes inside you. Right, sir. Fine. So try to uh, you know be calm, be composed. I'll say, because when uh, uh, multiple those multiple thoughts are actually you, you have good knowledge. There is no doubt. But the problem is, it is not coming in an organized manner. Mm-hmm. Right, sir. And I guess that is lack of a bit of lack of reading. Mm-hmm. I guess. Yes, sir. I know. So this is something that you do a month to make sure that. Uh, When when you entered and when you know, I saw you, I was having good, uh, but gradually it went down, right, which right. is not be the case. Uh, apart from like uh, the basics, like I asked you question from Doctor Indra, you said, sir, I'm not sure. So go through that. There were three categories of states uh, that were being classified by the British: uh, the protectorate, the dependent, and the independent states. And mm-hmm. this was applicable only on the Hindu princes. Yes, because yes. in Mus- in Muslim law there is no concept of adoption. Right. Fine, because you are from Kanpur. Kanpur has been the center of uh, the world of eighteen fifty-seven. Yes, sir. so don't just focus on Kanpur. Be ready for doctrine of lapse as well, and how the Peshwa came here. Mm-hmm. So overall, it was okay. But yes, <coughs> uh, you need to have. I guess you need to brush up the basics. Yes, sir. I will definitely, sir, revise more. Yeah, no, just whatever you have read in the beginning, like when you started your preparation, mm-hmm. you are actually missing that part. Yes, sir. Like the basic definition, you know, no one is going to test your knowledge. But what happens, like when your confidence abruptly went down, when uh, I asked about it in the seventh and you're like, "Doctor, you have left me here." Yeah. When yes. I asked about uh, Game of Thrones, a point came. You said, "Sir, for us." So that was the low point of your confidence. Yes. And sir. when sirs were uh, asking questions, especially about the police, and when sir asked question about, uh, 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 you know, the power that I was having. That quote. If you know who said that, you know to do that. Yes. Fine. But what happened at that point of time? You were just uh, making up things. Yes, sir. That was actually. Uh, you were making up things. Right. Sir. So don't do that. Mm-hmm. Fine. Be honest about everything and try to keep things simple. Don't complicate. Okay, sir. You are. This thing is complicating the things. Okay, sir. Fine. Because you are having. When a question comes, you are having multiplicity of thoughts. Yes, sir. So try to control that. Just there is only one straight. Make sure that there is only one straight answer to a straight question. Okay, sir. Fine. Rest is fine. Okay. Thank you very much, Vijaya. We hope all the best for yeah, you. Yeah, you want to ask anything? No, sir. Sir, I believe it was an honor to to be able to interact with you all. So, thank, thank you so much. So much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you. Sir.